What's up guys, it's Ophilly215 here and today I'm going to show you how to make a vignette in Photoshop. Okay, so right off the bat we're going to go with a general circle vignette uh, to start off with. Uh, so this is actually pretty simple. You want to start off with the image you're working with, which uh, honestly I didn't really feel like getting any pictures off of Google or anything, so I just, I just chose a picture of myself. So. Uh, picture you're starting off with and the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the bottom right of uh, Photoshop right near the trash can uh, emblem here and there should be an emblem that says create new layer you want to go ahead and click that and uh, a new layer will pop up that is transparent now you can't see this layer because it's transparent so you just see the layer under it and obviously when we click the eyeball uh, the picture of me will disappear and you can actually see the layer so what we're going to do here with uh, our layer one selected, you know, our new layer, we're going to go ahead and go over to our uh, paint bucket tool. Uh, if you don't see the paint bucket tool and you just see the gradient tool, you want to go ahead and uh, click and hold and select the paint bucket tool. And the next thing you want to do is you want to go down to your colors and make sure that the foreground color is set to black. Now what you want to do is with this uh, layer selected, you could go ahead and just click anywhere and uh, obviously now uh, the full layer will be black and you want to go over here to opacity and go ahead and click and drag that to zero so we're still clicked on the layer it's still fully black we just lowered the opacity so that we could see what's going on um, now the next thing you want to do is you want to go over here to your marquee tool and you want to go ahead and make sure that it's on the circular one and once you have that selected I would suggest do your best to eyeball where the center of your picture is and you want to hold shift and alt and then you could go ahead and click and drag and expand the circle and obviously that wasn't the very center of the document but try and drag it uh, to a point that you think uh, it's good and once you let go and the circle is then there um, shit I just let it go uh, you want to go ahead and just drag it to what you think is okay so right there looks good so I could tell it's not centered so I'm gonna do the best job I can to center this and right, that looks good okay so the next thing you want to do is obviously you know once again make sure that this layer is selected and you could go ahead and hit your delete key now when we go over to opacity and higher it up you have your vignette so now you could go ahead and play with this as much as you want you could go full 100 percent or you could just keep lowering it you know you could mess with this as much as you want it depends on how much of a vignette you want how dark you want it to be and also if you decide hey i want it this dark but it's uh it's not in enough or out enough you could go ahead and hit Control d to deselect that and then Control t to transform the layer and hold shift and alt and go over to the corner when you see these uh, double arrows pop up and you could click and drag this out or in uh, you know on your vignette and obviously you can't drag it too far in because uh, you know the circle will dissipate but um, you get what I'm saying you could drag it out in um, so there you go that's how you do the circle vignette I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do uh, another type of vignette so we could go ahead and click on our first layer and delete that and we're gonna go ahead and create a new layer once again and do the same method we're gonna click on our uh, bucket tool and we're gonna go ahead and click there and lower the opacity once again uh, instead of the marquee tool we're gonna go ahead and select the rectangular marquee tool instead of the elliptical so once that's selected you want to try and eyeball it as best you can um, but the type of uh, vignette I'm going for here is going to be uh, I'll show you in just a second. It's going to be a rectangular one. So clearly I have all around me selected so that uh, once we delete it, I'll be the main focus point. So it's kind of hard to describe. So we're going to go ahead and just select this area. And before you make this selection, make sure your feather is on 40%. Uh, 40 so if it isn't and you try and do it when it's already selected, it won't work. So make sure you type that in and then you can go ahead and make your selection so there we go it's selected I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete and I'm gonna hit control D to deselect my selection and I'm gonna hire the opacity once again and uh, you know the same premise applies you know you could go with a full hundred percent 
You could lower it down. I think that looks really good right there. It's like I'm the main focus point. The light is just straight on me. Um, and, you know, once again, you could hit Control T, uh, making sure that your layer one is selected, and hit Shift and Alt with the double uh, arrow selected in the corner here. And we could drag that out or, you know, whatever to our liking. So there's uh, my method. Uh, I definitely like that method better. But if it's too much work for you, I have a really quick and easy method if you're just going for a circle vignette. Um, we're going to go ahead and delete layer one here once again. And we have our default picture here. We could go ahead and go up to filter and go to lens correction. Once in here, you're going to come over to your right and under this custom tab, there will be a vignette uh, option. And... Obviously, it's pretty self-explanatory with the description here, but if you drag it left, it gets darker, and if you drag it right, it gets lighter. So, um, obviously, the same premise could be applied to the method I just showed you by changing your foreground color to white if you're trying to lighten up the mood. Um, so, in this case, we're going to make it as dark as possible, and this bar right underneath will determine how far in or out it is. So dragging it to the right will drag it uh, outwards. Dragging it to the left will drag it inwards. Um, I don't like this one as much because, as you notice, it's kind of like it's kind of darkening the whole image. It's kind of hard to uh, really track uh, where it is, and it's not as harsh. Um, but this is another method, guys. If you want to just a quick, real easy vignette. Um, you know, once again, all you got to do is you, up here in the top left corner, you see it's uh, lens correction. So, you know, once again, just import your picture into Photoshop, go to filter, lens correction, custom, uh, the custom tab, and then right here will be your vignette option, um, along with the other uh, options that I showed you. And, you know, you don't have to just use the way that I showed you for rectangular or elliptical. Um, you know, there's definitely ways that you could use, uh, you know, like, uh, I'm trying to think, for instance, you could probably use the pen tool, or I'm trying to see what other tool could you use. You could use the pen tool, or um, you could also use your lasso tool. Like, for instance, if we were to just, you know, go like this way around and make a selection up here. There's your selection. So if we were to go ahead and add a new layer and then, um, well, obviously I'd probably have to deselect it before I do that. So, uh, this is completely new. Uh, I haven't tried this method yet, but you know, once again, I'm sure the same premise could apply. We could go ahead I'm trying to think, I think a pen tool would be better cause it would be straight. Okay. Just select your pen tool and you could go ahead and click up here in the top left corner and click down here, cutting it in half. And the same premise can apply once you go ahead and connect all the dots right click within it and click make selection and you could feather it by I would say like two something like that I wouldn't go too harsh go ahead and hit delete and let's see what's going on here if we could do anything with this yeah so once again you know what I'm saying obviously you know depending on what you're going for um, you know, that might not be the best, but, you know, get creative with it, guys. You know, you could just do whatever. So, um, there you go, guys. If you have any questions or anything like that, um, I just try to make a quick video on, uh, you know, how to make a vignette. Um, but, you know, use your imagination. If you have any questions or anything like that, uh, drop them down below, and I will try and uh, answer them or make an updated video. Um, as always, it's Ophilly215. Thanks for watching. Peace!